Hello, everyone. Our president, Dr. Kathy Lawrence, and I recently represented the college at the Federation of Medical Regulatory Authorities of Canada's meeting in Saskatoon, FMRAC for short term. We uh, participated also in the Canadian Medical Forum, or CMF, meeting, which regroups all the major medical professional associations in Canada, including medical students and residents. There was considerable discussion about what the future of the medical profession will or should look like in a rapidly changing environment due to the leaps in technology enabling access and dissemination of information very quickly, the changing demographic in our society, and also the evolving expectations of the public and practitioners alike. Along with other CMF partners, the College will collaborate in a project to define and articulate what the unique value of the medical profession to Canadians should be. End-of-life care is a hot topic at the moment and will be the focus at the upcoming meeting of the Canadian Medical Association. We had an invitational meeting on this topic at the College with CFPC representatives from the Ethics and Palliative Care Committees. We also had representation by the legal profession and the veterinary profession. The discussions will help to inform the task force on end-of-life care. Of course, we talked about euthanasia and physician-assisted suicide. Very rich discussion. Dr. David Gass, a family physician from Nova Scotia, summarized best how I felt myself at the end of that day. I found myself at times siding against euthanasia and at other times leaning towards the direction recently approved in Quebec with regard to assisted death. All on the same day and at the same time. It will be important moving forward that those of us who remain torn on this issue are not made to feel like we're making a bad decision or feeling like we're not helpful to our patients and to Canadians. We do hope, through the work of the task force, to be able to assist and support our members to be better prepared as they engage in these discussions with their patients. I hope you can find some time to enjoy the summer season and some vacation time with family and friends. We will be in touch soon again.